Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 8 of Lots of Giants. The last episode, we finally found another boss. Musku is just chilling next to my endothermic fire. Way more hounds than I than I anticipated, just way more. Also, these cactus, man. This cactus, them cacti. So useful. So very useful. We're making a trip around just, just the place, the world, if you will, to find more more twigs, more grass, things of that nature. I want more just grass in general, and of course, if I can put it uh, by like by my base or protect it with a an endothermic or not an endothermic, but a flingomatic, it's it's all the better. And there's a twig here somewhere. My my mini map does not lie. My mini map does not lie. Nope, nope. Okay, that's a stack of ten. Chester, no, don't like the tree. Don't like the tree. There you go. And I don't need to give you that. Uh, I still haven't lit anything in my inventory just just to test it yet. I, I feel terrible for doing that. Can I, can I do it like this? I mean, is that going to cause a problem? What? Did I not do it quick enough? Oh, hold on. Oh, we can, okay, apparently I can't do it with a log. Can I do it with like a single piece of grass? Okay. Is that burning? Yes. It's burning in my inventory. It's not causing me damage. I has light. And you saw it just disappear. So, obviously, that would... I would. Uh, I mean, maybe not obviously. I would assume that would warm my character up. We don't really want to do that right now, but that's cool if it's dark. I'm assuming maybe I do contact damage, something along those lines with, with being on fire and all to other enemies. I'd have to be very, very close to those those enemies, but maybe I can maximize my damage output. Sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like an interesting strat that would require a lot of focus and you'd really have to be deliberate in doing it, but it would work nonetheless. Now, do remember, we are adventuring, and I don't really have much niter. I don't have any niter. I don't have anything to make an endothermic fire pit, or a fire. So, I guess I'll hit up these rocks. Let's move this shit around. Yeah, we could use these for dragonfly, but we have designated rocks. Or, well, fire pits. So, get some niter. Now I can make an endothermic fire along the way. Looks like I have at least enough for two, because I have one pre-crafted. Hold that. Just take what I can. And yeah, we're definitely going to come across a few more rocks there. You, sir, hold that. And how many toy or saplings do I have? Six now? See, that one's withered. Let's not touch it. I'm, I'm doing what I can to pick them up before they all do just this. It might be too late. Some of them are still alive. It is only, what, like a day in the summer? So, oh, actually, no, it's a couple. I don't know. Time flies, man. Time flies. Pick up them grass tufts. The more the freaking merrier. And how do we want to explore this? Why don't we get to the side and walk along the edge of the world? And I know, I know we have Moose Goose at home. If Moose Goose wants to make babbies, I'm I'm okay with that because I want to see Mosslings versus a bunch of hounds. It sounds interesting. We did just find the cave entrance there. That is something to note if we decide to bring rock lobsters up to the surface. Which I could do. I'm not against that. I've never... Well, I've, I've never, it's not that I've never been. I've never been against that, like, this kind of a series. But <laughs> I'm not against that right now. That's free. That's free assistance. Yeah, I was going to say, do we maybe do we maybe get lucky with uh, another one of those biomes? But no, we just got teased a little bit. Saw some rocky turf. A random beehive. Yeah, that's cool. Ooh, this has got to be where our pig king is. Got to be. So let's throw that endothermic fire down. Or, or not, because the game is like, duh. Hey, look, there's one piece of swamp turf. What the fuck? Game's like, I don't like you. I'm not gonna let you do that. So we'll make you. Sweet, 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 sweet. Let's get our asses cooled off. Um, I'm gonna just put a shit ton on that fire and chop this tree down real quick. We'll need to make another axe. No, we won't. No, we won't. We have a gold one. I always forget. Ten per or fifteen percent is what you need with a flint axe to get a big, big tree. I think it's ten for tier two and five for tier one doing what I can to learn more and more about the game, because I think it's just a good idea in general. I, I, I'd say I know a lot, but I, I'm not going to say I could know or I could, I'm not going to oppose more knowledge and furthering my knowledge of the game. I enjoy that thoroughly. I enjoy it thoroughly. Pick that up. What are we at, sapling-wise? 8 out of 10, so almost in their stack drop off in Chester. Dear God, if Chester combusts on fire or dies in a blaze of glory. 
It's gonna be a sad, sad day. And hey, I think you're the first Walrus Camp we found. Too bad winter. Too bad when you get. Yeah, too bad when you get a spring spawn. Winter's obviously the last season that we're here in this world for. Rip Tamush enter. Rip, rip using the walking cane for the majority of the series. Like a jerk. Spawn me in winter, please. <laughs> Give me that fighting chance. I would take it. If that means I get to use the Tamush enter and walking cane that much more. I'm all for it. <laughs> and that is that is difficult. It's not impossible. I mean, obviously we've done King of Winter before, but it is a little more difficult to do a winter spawn. One more grass tuft, and ooh, we're finding pigs. Finding a marble biome. Is this the? Yeah, that's the that's the portal. Oh, well, oh, they're fighting things over there. All right, there's gonna be lots of combat. It's not quite time to eat this just yet. And you know, I guess I'll top my sanity. I'll find the hell mod. Now, that fire might well be alive. And in the interest of saving my one endothermic fire I have left, because I didn't bother mining a lot of these rocks along the way, because I'm an idiot, let me let me attempt to go back to it. If it's alive, we'll refuel it. We'll continue to use it just to cool off a bit more. These flowers are going bad. I may as well use them to heal up a little bit. Oh, sweet, it's still here. It's still doing just fine. Uh, I don't want to use the twigs. I really do want to save the twigs, because that's what we're lowest on. Okay, we got that and you, and let's swap some things around. Just put the tufts and stuff up top. Not worth eating this yet. Obviously, I can't cook that, but we can compact an inventory slot when we do. And I think I'll save this for, like, tomorrow. Get some sanity out of it. All right, you stay alive. Nope. I said you stay alive. Okay, is it good? You're gonna examine that? Burn, burn faster and blue and bluer. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know. She had different dialogue for the different fire types. Fun playing a different character and learning all that shit. Okay, chop this up. Give me that. Fuck you, birch nut trees. Don't nobody love you. Here, you know what? I'll let you propagate so I can come back and murder you later. More twigs and there's another gnome. We have so many gnomes in this world. Holy shit. Give me some more niter. Oh, got a little bit of gold? Um, I'm all for it. All for it. I don't really need the rocks right now. I will take flint, however. Yeah, it's just an itty bit. It's a tease. It's a tease, but it's some nonetheless. Can't complain. Leave the stone behind. That That's fine. Uh, that fire should still be doing well. Uh, I, I ought to go back to it, though. I mean, particularly because it's night, but... Yeah, let's keep it alive as long as I can. What else? I mean, this is... Okay, so the Pig King's got to be over there. That's where a pig village is very likely located. Uh, what, are we, what else are we missing set-piece-wise? Uh, oh, let's get back to the fire before we get too too distracted. You know what, evil flower? Burn! Stupid evil flower. Don't nobody like you. Chester, don't die to the evil flower. I can see you doing it. I can see you doing it. So, move some things around. Don't want to waste my twigs. Don't want to get rid of the saplings. Do you have niter? Okay, you do. Do we have it pre-crafted? We do. Cool, cool, cool. Um, it's almost time to eat that. that. Oh, okay, there goes the sanity. I, guess I should have just eaten it, shouldn't I? Well, we'll heal up the maximum. Alright, so we're 150. And screw it, let's just fill up our bellies. So that's an inventory slot back. And we'll be eating the meaty stew here very, very shortly. Put the weapons and the armor and all that shiz down here, so I have easy access to it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We have a stack of twigs and a stack of grass just about. Alright, we're freezing our butts off. It's exactly what we want it to be. Now, I'm getting concerned about the fling -o -matic. Hmm, at home. Went to like three or four days. So, we still have time to explore, I guess. Let's, uh, I guess let's try to circle this biome real fast and we'll return home. I don't want to let that flingomatic go dry and come back to a bunch of nothing. That would suck. Truly, it wouldn't be the end of the world. We've got a lot of things prototyped. We already know how to make the next base. But it would suck. Oh, hello, fireflies. Ever need any more? We know where exactly where to go. This or the other biome. Both of them still have plenty. If I can find some saplings and stuff that aren't withered completely. Yeah, again, I'd like to dig them up. Screen shake. Okay, that's the rook. I was about to say, do we have another boss? Do, do we have boss? Yeah, I know I have the miner tat. I'm using the stupid light. I would much rather save that. Yes, and I know, I know I've got fuel out the wazoo. 
<laughs> I, I don't I, I don't have armor equipped if I if I did. So if I got hit by something in the middle of the night, eh, well that would suck. But I'd rather save that for a boss fight when I'm using like a suit of armor or something along those lines. Here we go. Okie doke. More twigs that aren't withered. Hey, you're a twig that isn't withered. Cool. I don't even have that stupid thing on anymore. Gold! Give me that gold. Thermal stone's hanging in there. I realize it probably jinxed it, but it's still doing fine. And I have inventory space for rocks. I mean, Chester's got inventory space for rocks, but it gets annoying dropping them off every time. Grass. I... Oh, hey, look, a set piece. <laughs> a very interesting set piece. Now, this is the one that turns it into summer, isn't it? When you open that chest. I don't, I, I, I don't want to open that ice box. I realize we're in summer already, but, like... I don't know if opening the icebox triggers it. I'm pretty sure opening the chest does. Then again, that's not the one that has the summer frest next to it. I believe there's one that has the summer frest next to it, and I've seen it in adventure mode. And then I, I didn't touch it, but I'm pretty sure if you touch the summer frest, it turns it into summer. I wonder what it does when it's already summer. Is it going to turn it into a fucking winter? <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna piss Mother Nature off right now. I actually don't have warm clothing to get away with it either. That frees up an inventory slot. We have ten. Uh, let's not pick up saplings, then. Let's pick up grass tufts. Continue to scope this bitch out. Uh, the endothermic fire uh, back there is probably long gone. So let's not concern ourselves about it. We'll have to make another one here shortly. Still not time yet to eat these meaty stews, but uh, they're approaching... Holy fuck, they're gone state. All the meat at home I fully expect to be bad. I just not too much I can do about it. I didn't have enough drying racks to accommodate it. There's <laughs> just too much, man. Far too much. I got an odd piggy house over there. This is just one of those big, dense forest biomes. Yeah. But I do want to map the, like, the edges off before we hit up, hit up our base. Another pig, bro. I, mean, I guess I can just go from tree to tree to tree. We have to get rid of our thermal stone because I think it'll keep me hot. We can just prolong the need for throwing down that endothermic. Yep. Okay, looks like we're at the edge of this. And we'll be going straight up to the deciduous forest here in just a second. You back off. Well, you tell me what to do. You tell me what to do. I, I, I want to eat that now before it just turns red and it gets useless. And, and again, I'm pretty sure that raises my temperature, but I'm probably mistaken. I don't know why I have that preconceived notion. I know, I know uh, dragon pies do. For some... For some reason, I think they do. Now, obviously, the thermal stone is going to cause some problems. Uh, I think we'll just cool it down. I think we'll cool it down. Let's put it in my backpack. I think that might delay it a little. If it, if it doesn't, we'll drop it. and or, Well, we'll drop it down next to a fire. Just prolonging the inevitable. Okay, I got a wormhole. No trees covered. No tree coverage. Tree coverage. <laughs> tree to tree to tree. Just maximizing that, uh, <laughs> that need. Oh, 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 now we made a map. Oh, you hit Chester, you son of a bitch. Ah, all right, well, let's throw this bad boy down. Cool off. Cool off. The heat is too much for her. And we'll whip up another one. Now, we can only make this one extra. So, the return trip is pretty likely right now. And it looks like we're almost done mapping this out, too. You break that axe. Break that axe. Okay. You have your new axe now. There you go. Thermal stone, get out of my backpack. It's not where you belong. It's not your spot. Yeah, with those. What? Um, twigs, uh, yeah, I can't combine that. And I haven't seen a grass tuft in a while. We've been in this forest. All we're finding is twigs. Cold ass thermal stone is what I need. I don't really need the monster meat. And we can drop that to frip some inventory. Okie doke. Let's get back on the road. I very much need to consider heading home unless I start mining some rocks up. Emergency, or if it comes to an emergency, you can always go to that ice box. <laughs> Throw a thermal stone there. Pray to God nothing happens. Hey, you touchstone. I can hammer that down and get some more pig skin. Uh, oh, do I have the three rocks? I do. I have the three rocks. You know what? I mean, fuck yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it up. That is football helmet right there. Football helmet potential. I like football helmets. As you can, <coughs> excuse me, you can clearly tell. The helmets are love. 
Yeah, I, I know we have two two football helmets, but that's because we left the cactus run to go exploring. All right, ah, uh, that freaking thermal stone already getting hot. It makes sense though. It's full blown summer. Uh, that's not. I mean, a gold rock's cool, but this doesn't have niter in it. It does not have niter in it. Clearly, that's not what we're after. Keep swapping this. Night's coming. Well, at least night will help me cool off a little bit, I believe. Be sure it lowers the perceived temperature. We're at 54 right now. I do love this little temperature thing up there, the UI. And man, it's a full moon tonight, and we're not all the we're all the way away from where we would be finding Glomer. Sad face. Temperatures are going up right now. 55. 56. May have to drop the thermal stone off in Chester. Because, well, he doesn't have that problem. I don't know how a fuzzball like him doesn't have the problem that uh, just how does he not come how does he not get warm? Riddle me this. I I, I don't know. Oh, pig house? Can we can we find that pig village maybe? Fifty eight. Uh okay, we're coming to the edge again. Fifty nine's gonna come up on me, isn't it? And it's looking pretty tempting to drop that thermal stone off. Alright, well. I'm still not finding the pig village, but I'm not exactly in the middle of the middle of the biome, am I? More nighter. Will definitely prolong the ship. There's grass over there. This might be the pig village. Could be. Okay, it's a full moon. We got light. Let's see. What, what do we have over here? We have a road, and we have withered berry bushes. There's the picking. And of course, we have were pigs. Obviously, that, that's just par for the course. Ooh, ooh, screen shake. Is there a rook? What would warrant that? I didn't hear a boss spawn. I mean, you clearly saw that. Oh, here we go. Could be a rook. Yeah, okay. I bet it was a rook. Chester, you might want to run. You're going to get ganked. Chester, you, you were caught on a building. Chester. Chester, please. I, I require you to scooch. I require you to scooch, buddy. I still hear, I still hear the boing, 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 so he's alive. <laughs> he got stuck. He got, got ganked. Oh, little, little bastard. Temperature's going up. This will be the dead end, so we will need to return back. Chester, run! No! Go, Chester! Cacoons, fight him! Fight him! You, you got this, Cacoon. Alright, temperature's at 62. Gotta keep an eye on that. The overheating will ensue very shortly. It will ensue. I, I guess I should throw that on to mitigate a little bit. But we, we got what we came for. I wanted to find the pig village. The pig king, at least. We found the pig king. We know that this is dead end. This is a dead end. There's nothing else down here. There's nothing here. This has some potential to be something else. But as it stands, I'd very much like to hit up home. Make sure our flingomatic's still doing well. Try to pull some of the meat that's on the racks in the ice box to prolong it. I, I probably will lose all of it, but uh, it's kind of to be expected. I don't know if they're still following him. Oh hell yeah, they are. Well, I'll wait. It can wait. Oh no, it rotted. It rotted. Hold on. Hold on. You can have that. You can have that. I want pig skin. No, don't you eat your, your fallen brethren. Don't you eat your fallen brethren. I need I need your I need your fallen brethren. You bastard. Temperature is going up, I think. An endothermic fire. Oh, wait, wait, no. I was say it's going up. That's going down. That's going up real fast now because it's day. We'll start burning here in a sec. Uh, let's do that. Let's throw an endothermic fire down. We have enough to make another one now, which that's why I was mining those rocks. Okay, you get cold. I will go pick up other stuff. Sweet. And yes, there's all that meat over there. That's pretty tempting. Pretty tempting. Drop the rocks off in Chester. Let's get our core temp down a fair bit. Here you go, bud. Um... Did I pre-craft one? Okay. I'll leave that on me so I can pre-craft the next one. You. Get really cold. Oh, and more niter. Well, yeah, isn't that lovely? Man, I remember the days when we looked at niter and we're like, this is useless. This item sucks. I'm never gonna pick it up. I realize how, how, how far, how long ago that was, but I remember that. That was, that was the thing. Uh, pick you, or use you. And we'll take some of this meat back home. We can use that on the drying rack, of course. 
All right, so I do need to get rid of something in my inventory. I think we'll forsake that in favor of a freezing, freezing thermal stone. Cool. And that's more niter. Yes, Chester has it in his inventory, but it's more niter. And we can keep that fire going. But yeah, I'd really gotta get home. I really am pushing the uh, Flingomatic's life. Oh, I have extra flint. Why do you have space for flint? Oh, hold on. Oh no, wait, you didn't have the niter in you, I did. I keep swapping things in his inventory. This is looking like a dead end anyway. Uh, I just don't know how much longer I can push this off. I just don't know. I mean, I could go explore that to prove it's a dead end, but I don't even think it's worth it. I think we already can assume it is. And you want to hold that? Boom. Alright, well, I've got nighter to make stuff. My thermal stone's already warm. Son of a bitch. Makes me want to go back to that fire. Prolong the inevitable. And let's just go. We're at 56 perceived temperature. And there's plenty. Okay, there's plenty of niter here. Well, we got an answer to that question. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, oh, come on. I'm seeing turf up there that, that might reveal something. Maybe. Maybe it's another biome with a lot of gold. Maybe. Alright, well, we have three endothermic fires banked. I feel like maybe we can, we'll be, we'll be okay. I'm just praying a fling of manic holds out, but I don't think it will. We've been we've been on the road for too much, and I don't have any food on me other than the meat that I want to put on a drying rack. Keep that equipped. Ooh. Oh no. No, it's just gonna be one of these little set pieces. There's some more gold over there and such. But oh my God, look how close that land comes. I just want to get home, double check that endotherm or that flingomatic. Once I know that the flingomatic's okay, look at that cold thermal stone. We're still overheating. I want to double check the flingomatic, and once once that's fueled up, we'll maybe set out again. And yeah, I guess now's a good time to go check on Moose Goose to see what he's see what she's doing. See if she has laid a bunch of eggs yet or not. See if she's duking it out with the uh, the hounds. I don't know what her deal is. I don't have any faith in her actually reproducing for some reason. I feel like I've never really gotten lucky with Mosslings. Then again, I mean, again, I kill them almost instantly all the time. Or I kill Moose Goose almost instantly. But I don't know how long exactly that takes. The overheating is about to ensue. Obvious reasons. We have that thermal stone in our inventory. It's just getting hot. Put you down. Cool. Good go. Alright, um... Chill your butts. Chop one more tree. Maybe two, actually. Yeah, let's do two. Hey, you know what? You stay here, you rat bastard. Get cold. <laughs> Doesn't get cold from this distance, clearly. There we are. Take that up. Take this up. Okay. As long as it doesn't combust, you have two extra logs for, for a rainy day. It's going to combust, don't you worry. But I has my thermal stone. What's the minimum I can get temperature-wise with this? You don't need food. I am getting sanity, which is kind of fun. At, at quite a respectable pace. We're at 142, 41. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> it's still going, but... Uh... I'm gonna just skedaddle. We have endothermic fires. I guess I could have just waited to use this endothermic fire. That was a waste of a. That was a waste of an endothermic fire. We have the pits right here. Huh. I'm a lot closer to home than I realized. Oh man. If we double back, we could get glomer. I think we can do fine with bosses without the old bell. I I would like to kite them anyway. The old bell, yeah, it'll work. I could put them to sleep somehow, but I kind of want to kite. I, I wanna. I want to practice that as much as possible. Assuming we can get some actual spawns in. <laughs> Damn game. I can move my spawns. Uh, didn't get as much grass as I wanted to. It's, I don't think it's an even amount compared to the twigs, but I'm not going to complain with the haul we got, considering everything could have already been withered. You are alive, good sir. What about the food? <laughs> Rip. <laughs> yeah, I saw that coming. I saw... Oh, I don't need the ice. I saw that coming a mile away, though. Um, if I put you back in here, we can dry it up to refresh the life of it. Ooh, hold on. 
Okay, Flingomatic, you take precedence. And it's a full moon, I don't need to worry about light. And why am I wasting my... My, uh... My umbrella. Take that off. So, if I can put the monster meat on here... And again, do I really care about the monster meat compared to... Oh, fuck it. We'll get plenty of monster meat killing the hounds. I don't really... I'm not gonna worry about it. I just... That's just a waste. So here's some fresh jerky. We'll throw that in the ice box. And harvest all the grass and twigs we've got. And this will last a whole long time in there. Hell to the yes. And whatever's left, sure. We've got two spaces. Cool. I can feed to the bird. Well, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Fuck it. Let's feed to the bird. <laughs> well then, now I know what I'm doing. So you have that. I do like having all that extra beefalo wool that I did not obtain myself, sad face. But uh, it's nice to use as extra fuel for fires other than logs. Maybe we'll get that endothermic fire just to uh, keep our thermals down under wraps and our core temp down. Oh, oh, can't say I didn't see that coming. Free charcoal! So, you, wake your fat ass up. You have, uh, you have eggs to poop out. Yes, poop out all the eggs. This is why we never really worried about this. This is why we didn't flick a it. It's just, it's free charcoal. It's free char- it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. So, there be eggs. There be loads and loads of rot. Um, alright, so... Well, I have one before wool. Sure. Alright, I think it's time to wrap it up, episode up, guys. Maybe next episode will take some gold to the Pig King. I don't know, or not gold. Trinkets to the Pig King. We do have quite a few lying around the base. Or we'll dick around with the hounds a bit and see if Moose Goose is just chilling. Maybe it's moss legs. Probably haven't spawned just yet, but finding the Pig King, that was good. Um, gears if I need them, but... Also, finding the, the walrus camp, that's huge. Assuming we can get lucky enough in the winter to get the actual drop. We did miss out on Glomer, but I, again, no skin off my back. I'm not going to worry about it. Do another cactus run here very, very shortly. I, I'm very much interested in more cactus. Plus, I want to break this football helmet. But guys, wrapping up here, episode 8. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.